balance of two million. So now the so I'm supposed to come out in um I'm supposed to come out in what's it called ending of July next month. Okay. Twenty nine. Bad guy. His father is a is a son. So first reach out to me. His father spoke to me. His father said we can apply for pardon. Okay. That pardon the president because you know it's Wait, Faust the bad guy. I can't even believe this. Faust the bad guy contacted Bob Risky. And Femi Falano contacted his father, and his father, Femi Falano, spoke to Bob Risky in order to divert justice. And this same Faust, if this story is true, this same Faust we have the audacity to come out and say he's fighting against the government for oppression. That he wants justice, he wants Nigeria to be better. So that like this, you they carry yourself. I don't want to believe that Femi Falano will bring himself down to this level. A whole Femi Falano will be Fela lawyer, where we respect. Femi Falano will engage himself in something like this. Wait, wait, wait. What is the relationship between Faust and Bobriski? I be Faust said they do. Oh. Okay. Who are we to crucify the homosexual? Most of them are done, they evolve from time. Everybody is a motherfucking hypocrite, though. No, oh, now that song, they make sense to me. Wait, I be far self, they do. This is crazy. Well, anyways, let's continue. Hey, now, wow. Nigeria. It's Fedra that, uh, my, my, my kiss is Fedra. That's so that the Fedra can actually pardon me. That's the president that he can do it. That I, if, if they pardon me, I can even leave here by next week. Do you understand? I don't have to wait till like uh, ending of next month. Okay. okay. So the man started the pardon. He said he wants to send it to the uh, minister, minister of Justice in Abuja. So Minister of Justice will now send it to President to approve it. But you know Nigeria now, Nigeria with the corruption and everything, you take it fast to him. That the man, they have said they will collect 10 million naira for him to get yes, that. That pardon will clear my name off the record. Of the record, which is not yes, bad. That which exactly. So, you know, there's nobody to call because, like, I have friends, so, but you know, you don't know who set you up, you know, and they've not opened my account. All right, so based on this first voice notes, based on Bobriski's narration, in this uh, phone call, Bobriski is saying that Femi Falano collected 10 million Naira in order to wipe his name off the record. Wow! These are people I respected. These are people I look up to. Faust the bad guy always talking about, yeah, I'm speaking up for the people. So you are also involved in things like this. It's really, really disappointing. It's obvious that Nigeria might not go anywhere anytime soon. It's obvious. Say Nigeria, no fear. I have lost 100% respect. Respect for this. Unless if they come and come defend this one, saying a lie. But for now, uh, we'll take what Bobriski is saying as the truth. Because Bobriski said all these things, like he contacted uh, somebody to borrow him money, and the person recorded everything. Now, uh, just in case where Bobriski go on argue, let me drop your number. Uh, this is your number, eh? Now, nah, why? So, this is your number. Your number ends with uh, 2208. That's what your number ends with. So, this is you. Actually, you cannot deny anything. So, EFCC, I will expect you people to bring, to do a deep investigation and bring all the people involved to the doormat of justice if you know you truly fight against financial crime. And this particular crime went deep down inside your own custody. And it's really crazy. And the controller general of prison, I don't know, I don't know what it did happen, but it's almost as if, yes, I want to know the godfather and why the controller of prison allowed them, instead of putting Bobriski in a correctional facility, they took him and gave him.